you think you can jump a metro fare gate and get away with it? Well, think again. That's right. Transit police are cracking down on a crime they call fare evasion. In an ABC7 watchdog investigation, Chris Van Cleve looks at the cost of cheating the fare gate. Watch these guys. They're about to cheat the system, using the emergency exit gate by the elevator at the Tenleytown metro station to essentially jump the turnstile. It can mean a free ride. With a hidden camera, we watch people do it, coming and going over and over. So you see it pretty regularly? Yeah, yeah. Jason West got so frustrated watching cheaters ride for free, he called seven on your side asking our watchdog unit to find out what Metro is doing to stop it. Last week, there was yet another delay on Metro, and I was on the train for two hours when I should have been on it for 30 minutes, and all I could think of was all these people that are bumping me, hitting me, stepping on me, how many of them didn't pay? Metro calls it fare evasion. The agency believes it accounts for less than 1% of daily trips. On Wednesday of this week, the system recorded 743,600 people entering the system. Only 736,800 exited, which means at least 6,800 fares may not have been paid. Metro has a word for it, so they're aware of it but I've never seen anybody ticketed for it. But transit police say they've stepped up enforcement, resulting in a 20% increase in fare evasion citations and arrests this year. The fine can range from 50 bucks to $300. They stopped this family who used the emergency exit gate by the elevator and sent them back to the turnstile to pay for their metro ride. So it's silly to do it. Uh, you're not really saving that much money. Um, and. Uh, it's just not treating your fellow passengers right. But that didn't stop dozens of people we saw cheating the system for a free ride, while riders like Jason West pay their way. It's bothered me more and more that I've noticed it more and more. Metro is looking at adding a localized alarm to those emergency gates that would sound if they're open. And as the new fare system is installed and the new fare gates go into place, they expect that will make it harder for fare evaders to follow a paying customer through. Chris Van Cleve. ABC 7 News.